Hi, I'm Jay with Classic Kitchens. And today we're at a house. We just finished a kitchen remodel in the city of Orange. So come on in and let's take a look. Welcome to our freshly completed kitchen. And this one had uh, some interior walls in this space right here. This had a, there were some appliances here. I think the fridge actually was right here. And then a wall, you'll see in the four photos. There's some walls here with an entryway here and some more uh, posts and walls in the corner. We removed all that um, and supported the ceiling and the roof line with a uh, with a 20, I think it's a 24 foot beam that goes across. We supported it to the exterior wall and one of the interior walls and a, uh, we increased the size of the footings to be able to accommodate for that. And that gave us this open space, which then we patched in all the drywall and made it all level. Um, and then we were able to get this open concept of floor plan. We have an island here with seating. Uh, it doesn't have an overhang for seating. We went with a gray cabinet, it's a dark gray cabinet. It is a shaker style cabinet. And then we did a Carrera look uh, quartz countertop. And you know that I like quartz countertops. Uh, they're really easy to take care of. You don't have to seal them. Uh, they're not a food source for mold because they're antimicrobial because they're non-porous. So they're really great. Um, so let me show you the rest of the kitchen. For the range area, we did a, it's a 30 inch range and a 30 inch hood. We went with the chimney style hood. So we get that uh, kind of elongated look. It makes the space feel more open. And then we uh, tiled the backsplash, we say, with a um, three by six. It's a porcelain tile that is also meant to mimic um, Carrera marble. And we tiled that all the way to the ceiling and then mounted the, the hood over there. Um, there is a little gap which you should have in between your cabinets and your hood. It shouldn't all come together. So we left that gap there. And then we have cabinets both sides. And then we do have some bells and whistles on both sides of the base cabinets, which I'll show you right now. So each side of the range has some inserts, uh, some custom built-in inserts. This one is a, has some cans for um, you know, utensils, long utensils. It has a knife block um, and then some extra storage underneath. And the one on the other side is your traditional um, spice rack, uh, which is good for, again, your spices and everything you need for cooking. changed the location of the sink. Originally the sink was in this corner here looking at the window and we made it a sink in the island. So um, that required you know running all the plumbing underneath the, the subfloor and then running it up to the cabinetry and, um, and then this adds a little extra space here for the countertop and then for the corner so we didn't have any dead space we added some rollouts um, so you can put your bigger your bigger appliances in there. We couldn't run the, the upper cabinets all the way to the edge of the window or else you wouldn't be able to open up the window. So what we came up with is some open shelving on each side of the window. That way we can have them 45 off and uh, they you know, are functional and then they look aesthetically pleasing too. And then the window is still functional. And again, just like most of my projects, I try to incorporate a lot of base cabinet drawers. These are great, again, for storage for pots and pans, Tupperware and everything else that, that would normally go in a base cabinet. This is just a lot more functional. And then for the island again, we did a, a multi-bank of drawers. It's a four bank that gives you more options for, for storage. And then we have our trash, which is trash and recycle. And then another cabinet above, I mean another drawer above. This is an apron front stainless steel sink. It's a double unequal bowl. So one, one bowl is larger than the other bowl. And then this really cool uh, plumbing fixture, the faucet. And then your dishwasher and seating on the other side. So it's really functional and um, it looks really great. 
the other side of the kitchen, um, we have the refrigerator and we have a pantry unit uh, with roll-out pantries, um, with roll-out shelving. And as you know, that's really great for storage. For the floor, we went with a waterproof laminate. And again, uh, waterproof laminate is really popular right now. And that's because it looks great. It gives you that warm feeling, um, which is really great with, with contemporary design. You know, you're using a lot of cool colors, a lot of whites, a lot of grays, and it's really nice to have something uh, warm like wood um, that really makes the space feel more warm. So um, that's what we went with, and it turns out really great and ties everything together really well. So you can see how with the walls removed, this creates a really nice big open space. Uh, this uh, adjoins a, a family room and living room space. So it makes the whole room kind of be one big room and uh, it's really functional and it looks really, really beautiful. I'm so happy that we got rid of all those walls and um, I think the end result is really fantastic. So uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.